Hey, this is Why We Work, and this week we've got a couple of cool new mods or upgrades to our RV that we're doing. We also review our new trailer cover that we've had in use now for a couple of months, and so we can give you guys a good sense of how that looks. And we've got a couple cool goodies for you guys at the end too, so take a minute and subscribe to our channel. Figured it'd be a good time to do a little review of some of the things that were got before we left and preview some of the stuff that we're doing for the next couple of trips out to see if it improves the experience. The first one is this ADCO trailer cover. We got the one that's like all climate with Tyvek. Um, it has the white roof and it's supposed to be a lot more durable in wind. I mentioned it before in another video, but I figured now we could review it after we've been using it for a couple months. Yeah, it's held up pretty well, I'm surprised. One of the things I was reading in the reviews online is that, uh, you know, it got really windy and some of the places where the straps connect were falling apart in high wind. This one has held up really, really well. Their measurements are absolutely on point. Our trailer is supposed to be about 23 and a half feet and we got the one that was 22 to 24 feet long. I was a little bit worried about it being too small and it fits like an absolute dream. We're able to cover our um, propane tanks on the front side and I can even get it over the spare tire and bumper in the back. So uh, I would say trust their measurements there and go for the one that actually um, fits the length of your trailer and you should be just fine. But it's really nice the way that they have um, all the different strapping set up so that you can suck it up on the front um, and you can see that it holds kind of tight under there and uh, and the other nice thing is it allows you access to your trailer while it's parked which is huge for us for packing and just you know the kids like to go in there and mess around even when it's in our front yard so I'll show you that right now The other cool thing is you don't actually have to bother um, undoing the whole thing the way I just did. Normally I'll just unzip the one side and the bottom here and you can pull it far enough over to where you can get in the trailer but uh, we're doing some other projects in there and so that's why I kind of went whole hog and rolled it up and velcroed it up like that. I love that they have the tire covers as well. Um, you know, it's uh, fairly hot up on the hill where we live and with it sitting in storage for about a month, it was nice to know that we had that shade on the tires so the sidewalls don't crack or get all jacked up or anything like that. They also have a pretty cool system um, for getting your cables across underneath the trailer. So let me try and show you that. So um, you can see the strap, which I've undone. Um, they actually have these little bean bag things so you just hook the bean bag on there and you can chuck it under the trailer and then pull it right over here um, where your actual connection is on the other side and then use that to snug it tight so you don't have to uh, climb under here and and start laying on your stomach in the dirt or anything like that to get it all attached you just hook up the bean bag chuck it across i highly recommend this thing it's uh we got our trailer waxed when we brought it home last time and it's been covered and i opened the back up and it still looks pristine and ready to go so hopefully it keeps it clean but more importantly uh increases the longevity but uh after a couple of months of use i can say that i'm um, very happy with it. I'm happy we spent a little bit more money to get the all-weather one uh, because again it's nice and windy up here and super hot and I'm just really happy with how clean the trailer stayed and what good shape it still looks in after sitting for over a month. So these are the actual uh, bean bags that actually go along with the ADCO cover. Um, you basically click this in to the far side over here and then you can just kind of hang out on that side and chuck it right under and then you grab it and fish it through um, and then you just unhook this and you connect them together and that's what keeps it snugged up on the bottom. You get two of these and it's uh, 
pretty nifty little trick. The other thing that I should tell you guys about the uh, the Adco cover, which I really like and thought was a super nice touch, is that, uh, you know, A, well, I'm not even using the, uh, the cover for the spare tire, because you can see our spare tire's already got a cover on there. Um, but it comes with a really nice bag, so as I'm about to take this whole thing off, you got a nice little bag to store it in, and then I'll just chuck this in the garage and we'll recover it up when we get back. Although I think we got um, so many consecutive trips coming up that I'll probably leave it uncovered for the next couple of months until we get into the August, September time frame. And then uh, when we have longer stretches between trips, I think I'll recover it. But the other thing about the ADCO, um, which I just thought was a super nice touch, is that they gave you all of these little um, foam coverings that go over all of your gutter ends to make sure that you're not poking a hole through your cover while it's in storage so they have these nice little um, styrofoam or foam type things that you put over that and then uh, and then you put the cover cover over those to make sure that you're not puncturing your cover um, so far We've been really, really happy with this cover, and after a couple of months, like I said, I, I previewed it when we first got it and just said, hey guys, we got it. Um, but after having used it in some pretty high winds and some very baking heat up to like 105, um, you know, when we came out and just lifted up the cover and you see how nice and waxed it still was, um, I'm, I'm giving this thing a big thumbs up. The other main reason why we're opening it up today is because we got this nice big 25 foot roll of Reflectix and so we're going to get in there and do some cutting today and cut out uh, the windows for each of the bunk ends in Reflectix so that we can stick it inside the zipper portion of the window and hopefully that's going to uh, cut down on the amount of heat that and light even that it lets inside the trailer when we're sleeping. We've got a couple of big trips coming up. It's going to be pretty hot, and so we're hoping that this will uh, make a big difference. Everybody in the RV group seems to suggest that this is the way to go and that it really, really breaks down the amount of heat and light that's coming into the rig. And so we're going to get cutting on those, and we'll show you the final product once those are all ready to go, too. Just cut the first two windows of the Reflectix. To see if we can beat the heat. You can see there's a tiny corner up there that the 24 inch Reflectix doesn't cover. But for the most part, for that tiny sliver up there, the Reflectix is fitting nicely. And I just popped these beds down at home so I didn't uh, pop them down and fold the corners and everything else because we'll just be popping them right back up. But just wanted to show everybody what it looks like. Looking pretty good. Just in case anybody wondered how much Reflectix to get, or, or Jayco J Feather X23B um, has <laughs> the two bunks. So I cut out two big for each of the windows and then four small for each of the side windows for the um, fold down beds. This is a 25 foot roll by 24 inch wide. And this is my last window that I need to cut out. And there's been no wastage apart from cutting the corners, but there hasn't been any strips wasted. And you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but lining up the corners, taking it all the way across Here's the end of the roll. You make it perfectly. 
The other thing we're going to give a shot the next time out are these emergency blankets. I know everybody has the pugs, the pop-up gizmos, and absolutely swears by them. Um, they're a little bit pricey for us right now. Um, we're in a bit of a belt tightening mode, so we found these on Amazon and figured we'd at least give these a shot. These are um, 51 inch by 82 inch emergency blankets. Um, they were only about 12 bucks a piece on Amazon and I'll put the link um, down below but basically they have blue on one side and then this nice um, shiny reflective material on the other side. It comes with these little clips which actually um, I don't think we're even going to use these. I think we're going to go the bungee cord route and just bungee them to the bottom of our bunk ends um, but also helping hoping that that will help with uh, you know passive cooling by reflecting that light away from our bunk ends and keeping us uh, a little bit cooler in these California summers. So we'll give a full review on those when we go, but uh, we're hopeful that we got away with spending, you know, 24 bucks for both of them um, instead of a couple of hundred bucks on the pop-up gizmos. I know those things are supposed to be really awesome and I might even get some eventually, um, but for now, we're hoping this will be a good stopgap measure to keep us a little bit cooler. So the last thing I wanted to do for our big trip, and uh, I'll do a little demo and uh, hopefully install of these. We got some nice vinyl decals to put on the back of the trailer so we can get more folks uh, into our channel. But uh, we got these printed, cost about 20 bucks. I found a guy on Etsy, and uh, and then we got the uh, the social media decals as well so we got our Twitter our Facebook our YouTube and our Instagram and we're gonna take a shot at throwing those on the back of the rig so when we're driving down the road uh, people know who we are so uh, let's take a take a stab at that and see how we turn out apparently the first thing you're supposed to do is figure out where center is that's what we're gonna try and do real quick what said make sure you get it nice and clean. I know I said how clean my cover kept it, but hey, you can never be too careful. Yeah, bro. You can never be too careful. Right? Yeah. Just keeping your trailer clean. That you can never... Look, we even got the boss out here getting her hands dirty. So now what we want to do is make sure that it's the same to the bottom of these flat letters. So let's see. The bottom of that. Cause now they say what you want to do is make a hinge. Finishing it off with the iPhone because our camera just died. And ta da! Let's see your best Vanna White impression. There we go. Now, if anyone sees us on the road, that'd be great. If you see us on a in a campground. Don't come and measure my spaces, but I think they're pretty good. <laughs> Our new Why We Work merch just showed up, and Mommy's gonna open up the packages and see all of our cool new stuff. So, Jordan's been helping me cutting open the packages, but this is the last one, and we're doing this one on camera. And I'm really hoping it's our stuff. <laughs> In here. This is our first foray into the world of merch. Well, we got some pretty cool items. All right, let me see. Let's take a look at what we got. These look like t-shirts. We have two different versions of the Why We Work t-shirt. Should pull the sticker off. Oh, 
Oh, I love it. Live, experience, appreciate. With the logo on the With back. The logo on the back. Love nice it. plain white t-shirt. Good quality. Feels great. Made in the USA. Boom. Good to go. American Apparel, known for their t-shirt quality. The second t-shirt. We have a small Why We Work logo on the front. Hang on, hashtag Why We Work. I love it. Once again, looks great. These are both larges. Looks like it would be pretty true to... What you would think a large actually is. Yeah, pretty true to size by the looks of it. All right, what do we have next? Next, let's try this one. I already peeked in there. Ooh, you got to peek. All right, ha ha ha, because nothing beats camping with a cup of coffee. That morning cup of joe. Nice, I like the colors, I like the feel of it. It's a nice big heavyweight cup. Do we have more than one cup size on there? Yeah, there's a smaller mug too. This is the large mug. I don't know why you want a smaller cup of coffee, but <laughs> that's me. Not in this house. And then we have... That's the last one for now. <gasps> oh, I love it! We have a giant throw pillow. This one I think is cool mm -hmm. for people to chuck in their camper. Came out really good. Oh my gosh, that's a great quality. It's nice and soft. It's almost got a very um, satiny feel to it. Great quality, great print job. And as always, if you don't want to feature the logo, you can feature the tag. Yeah, put up the logo, it's awesome. Ooh, and this, the last thanks for all the people who give me those super weird looks when I'm just talking to myself into the camera and are flying <laughs> my drone and they wonder what the heck we're doing. We printed some of those guys out, which is a little, um, kind of card with our contact info on it so they can go see our channel, subscribe, and hopefully come along for the adventure like you guys. Nice. So long story short, you guys want to scoop up any of this awesome merchandise, rock these t-shirts, go to whyweworkchannel.com. Boom. So that's it for this one. We are really happy with the way everything turned out and if you like this video give us a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next adventure